Hello, welcome to another BNT unboxing video. Today we're going to take a look at the Dell Latitude E7440. We're going to go over the steps on how to do a factor reset with Windows 10. If you have an earlier version of Windows, uh, you pretty much have to get your installation disk and format the drive and reinstall the operating system. But Windows 10 actually provides a way to do a factor reset uh, through the settings, similar to how you would reset your phone. We'll go over the process. There's a couple of different um, avenues, options you have, and uh, we'll talk about them. So first, let's, you wanna go to a start menu, click on the little gear over here off to the side for settings. And then once you're in settings, you're gonna to want to go over to, hopefully, oh, yes. You wanna go over to update and security. And then over here, there should be, recovery tab and click on recovery um, this one you actually have a couple of options already you can um, do a reset your PC and you'll be able to try and make it feel better if that's a problem uh, if you update it and things are not working right you have an option to go back to the previous version however Windows 10 doesn't automatic update so I'm not sure how viable that one is and then and you have the option to restore Windows from a, a disk image. So you create a, uh, a backup onto a, a, a DVD or USB drive, you can recover from that. Um, the, the first recovery option, this one up top right here that we're going to talk about, or, yeah, the first one, the reset this PC option, uh, will do a factory reset of whatever came on Windows 10 originally for your computer. If your computer's not working right, sluggish, feel like crap, or if you, if you want to sell it. A great way to make sure that all your files are removed if you want to sell it. So we'll go through that. You just want to click get started and then it's going to add you have a couple of options that come up. Uh, first you can keep your files. This will remove apps and settings that have been changed since it was first installed. But leave all your files. Presumably anything that's in your documents folder. Um, which can be helpful if something's not working right and you just want to freshen it up. Uh, do be mindful that you probably going to make sure all your files are backed up on another device in case wherever you have your files saved is not where it's looking. So there's only going to be one folder it's going to leave alone and everything else it's going to clear out. Um, and the remove everything option will essentially factory reset your computer. So if you click that, you're, you'll go back to the factory defaults. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. So Windows just starts doing its thing. Um, it's going to pop up and say uh, it's going to remove files. Um, well, it's you know, just remove your files the quick and less secure way. And then if you want to change that, you just hit change settings. And uh, um, so this is turned off. It will just remove your files and do like a quick cleanup. It's not the secure method, but if you hit on, it will take uh, remove everything and do a hard recovery of the original files. Um, this is an hour long, hours long process depending on how much is on your drive. You have options to choose from. If you're going to be selling your computer, this, this one right here where you remove everything and takes, it's going to take a couple of hours, it's going to be your best bet. If you want to make sure your stuff is cleared off, use this option. If you just want to clean it up, or if you don't have anything that important on your computer, uh, leave this off. It'll only take you a couple of hours. Like 10 minutes or less. Then if you haven't anything very personal on it, or if you just did a lot of stuff on web browsing, um, a lot of that stuff, you're gonna have to have passwords to access anyway. So probably wouldn't, there's not, that stuff's gonna get cleared out. Um, but those are your two options that you need to reset, recover your PC if you have Windows 10. And then once you select your selection, you just come down here and hit confirm. And the computer will do everything in the background and you're all set. I hope that uh, provided a little bit of insight on how to do a re factory recovery reset on your Windows 10 computer utilizing the Dell Latitude E7440. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.